This is Julia, Reference Librarian at McAllen Public Library. Welcome to Creative Tech, where we'll be looking at ways that technology and design can make your life a little bit easier and a little bit more fun. So today we're going to go over how to make a logo. If you're starting your own business or you have some sort of side hustle business or um, you know it's any new kind of venture that you're starting, uh, you're going to need a logo for that. Logos are very important. Uh, it's an, an important design element. Uh, they're also fun to make. There are a lot of websites where you can make them for free. You can, Usually the way they work is that you can make it for free, but then in order to download the full resolution, uh, you have to pay. So there, there's usually some sort of catch. We're going to use uh, Canva to, to make a logo. Uh, I've done a lot of other Canva tutorials on here before. I like it and I use it a lot. You can design a lot of different things on here. Uh, logos are just one of them. Uh, but so what you're going to do is you'll go over here to create a design and then you do a search for logo. And you see here they have all different kinds of categories. Categories for all different kinds of, uh, of industries. But so let's say for example uh, you want you want a logo for some really specific thing. Um, we'll do a search up here for photography. Let's say you're starting a photography business and you want a logo for that. Uh, so now you'll see that it has a lot of logos on here. And you can change pretty much anything on here. You can change the colors, the font, uh, all of that kind of thing. So just choose one that you kind of like that looks, you know, more more or less like uh, like what you'd want, and then you can personalize it. Uh, so let's say let's say you like that one. Uh, you'll choose you'll choose that one. And when you hover over the thumbnail like this one, you'll see that it says free. If it says pro like this one, that means it's one that you have to pay for. But the, a lot of them are free, so you'll you'll still have plenty of options. Uh, so this is the one that we have chosen. Uh, the first thing you'll want to do is change the text. So we'll put Julia Reed, a photographer. And let's say you want all of this to be a little bit bigger. You just click the outer edge, the outer corner, and drag it to make it, uh, to make it bigger. And now you can also change the colors. Uh, you click on whatever element you want to change the color of, and then you click up here on the on the color. And you can choose one of the preset colors here, or you can click on the rainbow here, the rainbow grid, and choose your own color. So I'm going to make mine very colorful. I'll do that one pink, and I'll do this one yellow, and I'll do this one over here blue. Okay, so let's say you're happy with that, you, you like it like that. Uh, there are more things that you can change. Uh, you can change the size of specific things. Uh, like right now, you'll see all three of these elements, the circles and my name and the word photographer. They're all kind of grouped together in the same box, uh, but you can undo that. Ungroup up here in the top uh, top right corner. You do ungroup, and now all of these are separate elements that you can change the size of separately. So I will also make the word photographer a little bit bigger. And now we'll have to recenter it. So just drag it over until that pink line shows up, and that means it's exactly in the center of the image. And now you can change the color of the text also. Uh, I'm going to leave I'm going to leave it black because that looks more professional. But you can choose uh, any color that you want, just like we did for the circles. And you can also change the font. Uh, this is the font that comes with the, the theme, uh, yellow tail font. But there are hundreds of other fonts here that you can choose from. 
And let's say you want to add more to the logo. Like let's say you want to add an image of something else. Like let's say you want to add an illustration of a camera. Uh, you go over here to Elements. And then up here in the top, you search for whatever kind of image you're looking for. Uh, so we'll do camera. And you'll see here they have probably hundreds of uh, camera icons. And if this was a real logo that I was making, I would do this a lot more carefully, but we're just doing this as an example. This is not a logo that, that you would actually want to use. You would uh, have to do this a lot more carefully if it was a real logo. But this is just an, an example to show you the different kinds of things that you can do with uh, with the logo design feature on Canva. And the good thing about Canva is that it automatically saves as you're going, so you don't have to remember to save it. But once you're done and you have it uh, exactly how you like it, you go to Download up here in the top right corner. And uh, make sure that you leave it on Leave it on PNG format. That's a high quality image format that's best to use for logos. And then you'll download it and save it on your computer wherever you want to save it. And then you'll be able to use it for all kinds of other uh, applications. This was Julia and thank you for watching. Be sure to follow MPL Adults on Facebook and McCown Public Library on YouTube and don't miss any of our virtual programs.